cock and ball torture, CBT, occasionally known as penis torture, dick torture, or male genital torture slash male genital torture, is a sexual activity involving the application of pain or constriction to the penis or testicles. This may involve directly painful activities, such as genital piercing, wax play, genital spanking, squeezing, ball busting, genital flogging, urethral play, tickle torture, erotic electrostimulation, kneeing, or kicking. The recipient of such activities may receive direct physical pleasure via masochism or emotional pleasure through erotic humiliation or knowledge that the play is pleasing to a sadistic dominant. Many of these practices carry significant health risks. Devices and practices. Similar to many other sexual activities, CBT can be for can be performed using toys and devices to make the penis and testicles more easily accessible for attack or for foreplay purposes. Ball stretcher. A ball stretcher is a sex toy that is used to elongate the scrotum and provide a feeling of weight pulling the testicles away from the body. This can be particularly enjoyable for the wearer as it can make an orgasm more intense as testicles are prevented from moving up. Intended to make one's testicles permanently hang much lower than before, if used regularly for extended periods of time, this sex toy can be potentially harmful to the genitals, as the circulation of blood can be easily cut off if over-tightened. While leather stretchers are most common, other models consist of an assortment of steel rings that fasten with screws, causing additional, but only mildly uncomfortable weight to the wearer's testicles. The length of the stretcher may wear, vary from 2.5 to 10 centimeters, about 1, point, or about 1 to 4 inches. A more dangerous type of ball stretcher can be homemade simply by wrapping rope or string around one scrotum until it is eventually stretched to the desired length. Ball crusher. A ball crusher is a device made from either metal or often clear acrylic that squeezes the testicles slowly by turning a nut or a screw. How tight it is clamped depends on the pain tolerance of the person it is used on. A ball crusher is often used to combine with bondage, either with the partner or by partner or by oneself. Parachute. A parachute is a small collar, usually made from leather, which fastens around the scrotum and from which weights can be hung. It is conical in shape, with three or four short chains cha hanging beneath to which weights can be attached. Used as a part of cock and ball torture within a BDSM relationship, the parachute provides a constant drag and a squeezing effect on the testicles. Moderate weights of 3 to 5 kilograms can be suspended, especially during bondage, though occasionally much heavier weights are used. Smaller weights can be used when the participant wearing it is free to move. The swinging effect of the weight can restrict sudden movements, as well as providing a visual stimulus for the dominant partner. Humbler. A humbler is a BDSM physical restraint device used to restrict the movement of a submissive participant in a BDSM scene. The humbler consists of a testicle cuff device that clamps around the base of the scrotum, mounted in the center of a bar that passes behind the thighs at the base of the buttocks. This forces the wearer to keep their legs folded forward as any attempt to straighten the legs even slightly pulls hard on the scrotum causing anything from considerable discomfort to extreme pain. Testicle Cuffs A testicle cuff is a ring-shaped device around the scrotum behind, between the body and the testicles, which, when closed, does not allow the testicles to slide through it. A common type has two connected cuffs, one around the scrotum and the other around the base of the penis. They are just one of many devices to restrain the male genitalia. A standard padlock, which cannot be removed without its key, may also be locked around the scrotum. Some passive participants enjoy the feeling of being owned, while dominant individuals enjoy the sense of owning their partners. Requiring such an individual wear testicle cuffs symbolizes that their sexual organs belong to their partner. There is a level of humiliation involved, by which they find sexual arousal. The cuffs may even form part of the sexual fetish of the wearer or their partner. However, there are extreme uses of testicle cuffs. More conventionally, 
the device pulls down the testicles and keeps them there during stimulation, which has a number of benefits. Making the penis appear longer. Pulling the testicles down and away from the base of the penis stretches the skin over the base of the penis and pubic bone, exposing the additional few centimeters of penile shaft that is normally hidden from view. Improving sexual arousal. While some participants may be aroused by the feeling of being ohm, the physical feeling of stretching the ligaments that suspend the te testicles has an effect similar to more common practice of stretching one's legs or pointing and pointing the toes. Preventing the testicles from lifting up so far that they become lodged under the skin immediately adjacent to the penis. A condition which can be very uncomfortable, especially if the testicles stand squashed by the slap of skin during trusting and sexual intercourse. Delaying or intensifying ejaculation by preventing the testicles from rising normally to the point of no return, it is much harder to reach an orgasm. Cock harness. A cock harness is a penile sex toy designed to be worn around the penis and scrotum. Its function is similar to that of a cock ring. These devices are often associated with BDSM device activi activities. The Gates of Hell is a male chastity device made up of multiple cock rings that can be used for CBT. Kali's Teeth is a metal brace bracelet with interior spikes that close around the penis and can be used for preventing or punishing erections. Ball busting. Ball busting is the practice of kicking or kneeing participants in the testicles. It carries several medical risks, including the danger of testicular rupture from blunt trauma. CBT in Japan. Tamakeri, uh, or ball kicking, is a sexual fetish and subgenre of BDSM within which a man's testicles are abused. This, the genre is also referred to as ball busting, BB for short. Tamakere is the Japanese term, but it is used by many non-Japanese people to describe media where Asian people, mainly women, are participating in it. The dynamics of Tamakere consist of a masochist having their testicles hurt by a sadist. The fetish is popular among heterosexual and homosexual men and women. Denkianma, or electric massage, is a popular Japanese prank played between two people where one person puts their foot into the genital area of the other and shakes it in a vibrating motion. Often this is done by grabbing the other person's feet, raising them and then placing one's own foot on their crotch and vibrating it. This is often done between school-aged boys as a prank, similar to a show, and can be seen by a western audience as a type of bullying. In 2006, Fi Frito Lei released a special Taitsukin Kun, Taitsukun themed edition of Doritos chips that reference Denki An Anna. Safety. Loss of blood flow is one of the greatest risks in cock and ball torture and may cause irreversible damage. Bleeding is an indicator of unsafe behavior because numbness may result from circulation problems in the affected member. The level of pain is not an indicator of a problem and signs of danger include numbness or loss of color and edemas. Bondage in which the testicles are tied to another object is especially dangerous, increasing the risk of damaging the testicles through excessive tension or pulling. The most serious injuries are testicle rupture, testicular torsion and testicular avulsion, which are medical emergencies that require urgent, urgent medical attention. See also breast torture, chastity cage, chastity piercing, groin attack, penile injury, pussy torture, small penis humiliation, urethral sounding, 